Well, I feel like we need to talk about this one. On my videos, I usually script things because there's so much information, and I wish that I could tell you what a certain perk does at a certain time, but I can't. There's too many in the game. So this one's just gonna be me talking, working my way through this. And I've been seeing that there is now a Crucible suspension for backing out of the control playlist. Now, this is the screen, competitive Crucible suspension. So this does appear to be some sort of placeholder. We know that they're reworking some things later on down the line. And Bungie just doesn't do things to do things. So there's a whole bunch of data and conversations that went on that led to this. You left a competitive match before it was complete, and your ratio of complete to incomplete competitive matches is too low. You are temporarily suspended from competitive playlists if you're having connectivity problems. We get it. So this screen, I wouldn't take to heart the whole competitive thing, but the fact that it's there, I don't agree with. Like, at all. We're actually going into the deep end with a couple things in Destiny PvP. Because now, as a whole, we have skill-based matchmaking and quitter penalty for the quick play playlist. Now, a lot of people fight with me on if control is technically the quick play playlist. It is. It's the biggest thing right at the top. It's where everybody goes. You look down at Clash, it does not look for similar skill. You look down at Survival, it looks for similar skill. In which, by the way, if we're going to have a quitter penalty, if we're going to have skill-based matchmaking, go full force and make the third-person camera restricted and enabled as well. They've loosened skill-based matchmaking, and I didn't make a video on that. I've made four, five, six over the past six years, okay? It's the same conversation, and I'm not going to get baited into it, because the truth is there does need to be some skill-based there to protect the newer players, the lower skilled players. I've always been an advocate for that. There needs to be that. However, on the other end, there cannot be strict skill-based matchmaking in a peer-to-peer -peer game. You get things like this. Keep it up. All of that is a bad experience. Getting outgunned, outskilled, getting beat down all the time, not fun. This also isn't fun. This is the other end. And this happens like 90% of the games. But this right here is a new level to it. I play solo 98% of the time, okay? When it comes to skill base, no skill base, this, that, I don't really care. I get focused, bagged every game that I play. It doesn't matter. It's all the same to me. It really is. But this right here, this can't be the answer. Because this doesn't answer the question, why are people quitting? If you fix why people are quitting, there wouldn't be this. And it stems from a lot of things. We had very strict skill-based matchmaking. One, it does not team balance. So it'd be a five and six stack versus six solo players. I've had multiple games where it's two, three stacks on the same team versus six solo players. The outcome of the match is determined. There's nothing that you can do. It is not fun. So people were quitting. And there's also the people that really glorify that mythical KD number that they see. Then we have map waiting, disjunction, Bannerfall, Midtown, Convergence, all of these long-ranged maps over and over and over. And I put it up on Twitter the other day, like, dude, like, it feels like there's only five maps. There's over 20 maps in the game, but we're playing these same five and it's just wearing me right out. So yeah, a lot of people were quitting from that. And then fundamentally, PvP itself, the only real thing that you're getting from PvP week after week is one pinnacle. Sure, you can do your powerful tier ones and glory, survival, things like that. But that's really the chase in PvP. When the game started, a lot of it was you get a lot of cool guns, you go try them out in the Crucible. You also have the skill factor, test your skill versus another player. But now I don't really know what it is. Because if you're putting in a public playlist, that's what it is, it's a pub, right? This is quick play. If you're putting a quitter penalty and skill-based matchmaking, like what are we doing here and why are we doing it? What are we doing it for? I don't understand what we're doing it for. And I'm telling you, as a solo player, that's a rough thing to put on somebody. And it's also saying that we also have day-to-day -day things in our lives. Maybe you have a kid, maybe an emergency happens, maybe your wife calls you, your girlfriend calls you, your dad calls you, whatever it is, you have to leave. You're gonna suspend me from playing all of PVP, from quitting a 6v6 quick play match, that at best, I'm gonna get an out of bounds that I kinda like at the end. Like, Bungie, this isn't it, man. And with whatever they're trying this season, it does feel like this is gonna translate a little bit and probably some more things into the comp playlist when, when they get that rework up, right? That's what it feels like. Okay, we know that the skill base works, Bungie. Let me tell you, the quitter penalty, it's always been there like in Gambit, so we know that it works. Like, I don't understand why you need to put it in 6v6 quick play, regardless of skill level. Like, that is not good on the player. Because if you do fight a six stack, or you do fight a team where it didn't match make properly, or it's a peer-to-peer -peer game, everyone is lagging on your screen, Bungie's tapping you on the shoulder saying, hey, you better stay in this game. You need to stay in this game. This quick play 6v6 control match, you gotta stay in, because if you don't, you're not gonna be able to play. And on that foundation, that's why it does not need to be there at all, especially in a peer-to-peer -peer game. It kind of blows my mind. Now, I myself 
have talked about quitters on Twitter, that there's been a lot of them. I know a lot of you have seen it. Maybe some of you haven't, but there has been a lot. Enough so that they put in the suspension penalty, but let's talk about why. Like, those are the questions that need to be asked. Why is that happening? Because if you fix why that's happening, it won't happen as much. And the fact is, I think that this might push more players away. Because if they were being pushed away before, this isn't going to help. And the answer is definitely not, go play Rumble, go play Clash, or whatever the rotating playlist is. Like, that can't be the answer. And a lot of the PvP community has wanted the mode to flourish, to move forward. But it feels like a lot of these steps, in an already kind of rough spot, is somehow taking a step back. I don't want that to happen. So hopefully, this right here is a little test for whatever's going on with the comp mode when it comes back up, and then it goes away. It needs to go away. Yeah, quitting sucks, but I think all the reasons why people are quitting suck more. I could be way off, but it does need to be talked about. So down in the comment section, I want to hear whatever side that you're on. You guys know how I feel, and I'm down to debate it. Quitting games is a bad thing, but there has to be a middle ground as to why that's happening and to make the mode more enjoyable. Let's talk about it down below. If you're new here, remember to hit the subscribe button, and if you are subscribed, thank you so much for your support. I have a lot of videos that I'm working on right now. Be coming out in the next couple weeks. Thank you for watching, and until the next one, I am Cool Guy.